are supposed to be a fun and festive season, which they are certainly, but for others, it could be a, a, a time of, of major stress and anxiety. And how do you cope with that if you are suffering from that? Well, joining me now is psychotherapist and the clinical director of the Montreal Center for Anxiety and Depression, Sandra Reach. Welcome to the show, uh, Sandra. Thank so you nice so to much. Have you here. So, I mean, what is it about the holidays that trigger, trigger those kind of emotions? Well, Laura, there's a lot of things. Basically, first of all, we get out of our routines right away, so that always disrupts things. And there's the expectations. You go yes. on Facebook, and everybody's living this Hallmark movie, <laughs> and then you want to live up to the movie, and we can't live up to the movie. And think about it. Does anyone put on Facebook an argument they've just had with their husband or no. their family members? So you got to watch those expectations and make sure to lower them, first of all, and watch the routine. Mm. We all fall off our routine during the holidays, so yeah. that causes a lot of problems. Also to be mentioned at this time of year, a lot of people suffer from something called seasonal affective disorder. That's true. Less sunlight has a profound effect on mood. Okay, so you mentioned the sunlight, but what are some other of the top causes that cause anxiety and, and even depression in, in worst cases during the holidays? Well, again, we have the hallmark image. Yeah. We have to be happy, happy. So if your family's not happy, happy, you must be failing. But the truth of the matter is all of us have our family issues. So we got to lower the expectations. And I'm telling you the importance of routine during the year is the same during the holidays. If you don't take care of your food, sleep, exercise, mm. which is always important. And during the holidays, we all want to sleep all day, eat a little bit more, drink a bit more. Drinking's a depressant. We like you know, to have holiday cheer. Right. But you have to be careful. If you're throwing off your body completely, you're going to start to show symptoms. Okay, so what are some tips? What are some strategies then to keep us, to help us stay on track during the holiday season? Well, I can't stress the importance of remembering to eat regularly, sleep regularly, and of course, exercise is paramount. Exercise is always a great stress management technique and always great for beating the blues. Sometimes during the holidays, you start to feel a little bit down if things aren't going the way you want to. Mm. Exercise will help. Take some time for yourself throughout the day. Don't overcommit and watch that spending budget. I was just going to say finance, I mean, must is, is a trigger, I imagine, as well, because you 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 want you have to buy so many presents or you think you have to buy so many presents and you want to, you know, spend, you know, this X amount of money. And that could be a big stress. A very big stress. Yeah. So you want to put a boundary on it. How much do you want to spend and how much time do you want to go to parties and get together? Mm -hmm. We need time for ourselves. How about carving out 15 minutes during the day just to take stock of how am I feeling? What do I need? How am I doing? I love seeing people, but sometimes if I see too many people, I start to feel stressed. Yeah. So it's a reminder, come back to me, take a bath, go for a walk, get outside. The sun has a profound effect on mood. And maybe to get off social media a bit as well, right? Because as you explained, technology does have a big impact on how we feel. Well, we have a tendency to compare upwards. Yeah. And as I said, nobody puts their negative moments on social media. So be careful about that comparison. And when you're with your family, also choose your battles. There are going to be difficulties. It's okay.